Welcome to our second edition of Nolson News for 2014. In this edition, we reflect on some of the highlights that have been occurring over the last two months, including a major fundraising initiative by one of our corporate partners, Lush Digital, Nelson Residence, assisting a local community at McDougall Park, and our acquisition of a new creative studio space at Garvey Park. So sit back and enjoy our stories. Alex, tell me a little bit about uh, your motivation to run the marathon. Well, I've always been a bit of a runner, but very short runs rather than something to this extent. But running a marathon had been on my bucket list for a long time. Mm. So I decided that, well, seize the day, this is the year I've got to do it. Um, so did the training for four or five months. And um, while I was doing something uh, quite as ridiculous as this, I thought, well, why not try to raise money for, for a great cause along the way? so somebody else can benefit. So um, I chose Nelson because you guys are very close to my heart. We've had a, a great long-standing relationship with, with you and every time we come to film, we've just realized what amazing work you do um, and, and every little bit helps. So it was, it was, it was awesome that I, could, that I could raise some money for you guys along the way. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of all the residents and all the staff and the board of directors at Nolson. We were so blown away when we heard you were first running the marathon and then um, had decided to take that extra step, go the extra mile and fundraise for us. So the, the money that you've raised, which is over $3,000 as you know, is going directly back to people like Michael. And um, Michael has been trialling an iPad. He loves using it. He watches his favourite bands on YouTube. He uses brain training um, activities to keep his mind active and we will make sure that every last cent of that money that you've raised goes directly back to people like Michael because it, it will make such a big difference in enriching those lives. Brilliant, well I just hope that this inspires other people to, um, to fundraise for you as well. Thank you, thanks so much Alex. Pleasure, great pleasure. I work as an arts facilitator for Nelson, which uh, means we work out of different spaces, one being Victoria Park Centre for the Arts and the other being Garvey Park, where we are today. Uh, running different art classes with different people, we have painting, some people doing printmaking, different people doing textiles, but mainly just giving people access to be creative. Lara started coming down with us when we were at Earthwise a while ago and now Garvey Park since we've been here. So Lara's journey has been really lovely, starting off with small little bits of paintings and moving to using a big easel. But she's very individual and self-controlled in her expression, so Lara knows what she wants to do and just jumps straight in. And Pete used to do really expressive drawings and inks and is now doing the stitching and the sewing, which is a bit of a slower process which fits in with this space because it is really relaxed down here and you can have your coffee and and they work well because Garvey Park's really good because we've got spaces where people can be together and then also where if you want to you can go and find your own space and just sit quietly and make so depending on the individual we, we kind of work around that. I do workshops like we do here at McDougall and we plant seeds and pot on seedlings so they can be sold at markets and so they can also be taken to the houses where I garden and use in those gardens and that as well. So that's basically my job. When people are around and a space is being used and a lot of people even just walking past come and say hello and have a look at what we're doing and tell us of other people that have done the same things or people that they know that might want to be involved in that as well. So it's, it's very much that visual thing as well and just the community realising that people like this are out there and that they can do things and that can only benefit the community I think. We hope you enjoyed this edition of Nelson News. And we look forward to sharing more stories with you throughout the coming months as we celebrate our 60th year anniversary. And remember, if you'd like to know more about Nelson, go to our website, nelson.com.au, or you can now visit us at Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time.